Hello everybody, Abel King 100 here. I'm talking today about Mac OS 10 Lion and my thoughts on it. So anyways, let's get started. Lion is a great OS, next version of Mac OS 10. Anyways, it's supposed to be released in July for $29.99. Good price, but not, it wasn't like Snow Leopard or Leopards, which was $129, which is a complete rip-off. So anyways, let's talk Lion. It's coming out in July, it's supposed to revamp supposed to take Magic of iPad and Mac OS 10 and put them in together. I think it's pretty nice, but some people might not agree. It can't run PowerPC apps anymore, which is disappointing for some people, but it can run universal apps and Intel apps. It's 64-bit, you know, across the line. I don't know if it even goes to 32 bit kernel anymore, but anyway, but um, <clears throat> let's talk about one of the major aspects of Lion. Some people are saying, that there is going to be a recovery partition in Mac OS X Lion, which is true. But, here's the flaw. Here's the problem. Let's say when they're using your computer, and then you like basically, all of a sudden your, your drive fails, and then basically try to reboot, goes in that recovery partition, and it won't load because your drive's failing. You'll be like, ah, what, is, what happened here? All of a sudden you figure out your drive's failing. What to do now? There's a solution to this. When Lion comes out in the App Store, when you guys download it, you can basically right click Mac OS and Lion, show package contents, and then basically, no, this is not this is not Mac OS and Lion, it's just a picture of the desktop that's coming with it. Anyways, <clears throat> so anyway, that's what I was saying. So you should right click show package contents on the Lion and Star, and you should see a little DMG file that says ESD contents or something like that. Click that, burn it to a flash drive, burn it to a disk then hey, you're all set. Because if you burn into like a flash drive and your computer fails, your drive fails, you're at least at luck. I, I think it's like four gigs to put in the flash drive. You probably probably have like an eight probably have like an eight gig flash drive or more for a better capacity, but I'm telling you guys, put that thing on a, put the little ESD thing, whatever it is, on the flash drive so you guys have a backup. So anyways, with another good feature of line. Another good feature of Lion is Mission Control. Can't wait to use that. It basically combines Expose and Spaces into one thing, which is pretty cool. Spaces, you don't have, like a, you don't have a separate application for Spaces anymore. You have pretty much one app that is Spaces and Expose into one. It's pretty cool. So like all you pretty much do is like when you want like a new window, new space, go into Mission Control, drag the window you want to the right corner, and then it'll basically make a new space. Quite simple. This would be a nice feature. Another feature of Lion is there is a new feature in, which is called Autocorrect, which is kind of interesting, kind of not interesting, because here's the thing. They're taking Autocorrect from iOS, like when you spell a word wrong, it'll say, hey, here's a word you want to suggest or something. Here's a word that let's say it's say it'll say for example you're beautiful and you want it'll think of saying you're beautiful push space it's in but if you want to say lol and it doesn't recognize it it was like see me about that anyway what we're trying to say like lol it doesn't recognize it sometimes it might correct it that feature feature might upset me just a little bit but it's good to have it there another good feature in Lion that I'm looking forward to is versions and that is apparently in, when you're like working on a document and it takes your documents, it takes a snapshot every time away. So when you guys are like working on a document, you don't have to go anymore and like, ah, where's my file? I'm on time before. I can't find it. Version 6, all of that. Quick versions, well loved versions, and hey, you're, you're launched right into time, like time machine interface. And on the right side, you can basically just see all the steps you've taken of the last few documents of the, re of the version that you've modified, which is pretty interesting, which is pretty helpful. Another feature is auto save. Thank God they got that. No more command S. No more saving as you go. No more saving as you go. They're automatically. That's a pretty good feature. Another good feature is Time Machine. They've improved that a little bit. You can now do backups, encrypted backups, which is good. Um, you can also do a local backup, which will basically take your hard drive. It'll like backup on your machine itself, not to external drive but to a local drive, your basic hard drive in your machine. So like it's doing it on your local drive itself, which is pretty cool. So they pretty much have like 
a snapshot of this, like a drive on this machine of itself, and then another snapshot on the on your little backup drive, not a time capsule, in case you guys are wondering. Anyways, this is a different screensaver, if you guys like it. Another good feature of Lion, <clears throat> another good feature of Lion is, what's another good feature that they improved? Oh yeah, Preview. That's a cool feature. The new feature in Preview, if you guys like doing documents, kind of sign stuff, it can basically scan your signature and put it in, which is pretty, pretty cool. Another cool feature is full screen apps. Right now in OS X uh, Slugbird, if you basically put, if you try to put like a push the plus button in the in the uh, window, it won't matter. It'll just say it'll just due to its capacity what the window thinks it is. But now online you got the full features, the full screen mode. Another cool feature is reading list. I think that's what they call it. I think that's what they call it. I'm not sure, but anyways, what that allows you to do. It allows you to um, save articles and read them for later on, which is pretty cool. It'll save, you know, sync with iOS devices when iOS 5 comes out. Can't wait for that. Another cool feature. Anyways, what else? Um, local copy, copying under the same name, which is pretty helpful because if you copy stuff right now into Slugbird, saying they have the same name to files, it'll say, if you want to rename this file or replace this file with the same one online, no more. It'll just put like, let's say Untitled 1, you have another version of Untitled 1, it'll probably say Untitled 1-2, which is pretty helpful. You guys like to keep, keep the same thing with the files. Uh, what else? iTunes, I heard, is supposed to be 64-bit, I believe. Because right now it's 32-bit. Believe me, that thing has some major work to do because iTunes sometimes just freezes up and it's just annoying. But iTunes is good. What else? Safari. They have new CSS3 features, HTML5 features, and I hope this version, I hope that this version is more was more crash resistant in line because Safari, right now, for some for me, like sometimes I'll play a video on YouTube and HTML5 player, sometimes it'll just crash immediately. See when that happens. And by the way, Flash, not going to be installed by default. Thank God, because I hate Flash. Flash is disappointing. I don't know why we ever invented Flash, but <clears throat> you're gonna have to reinstall that yourself, guys. What else? Rosetta is no longer supported. Don't know much about that. That's all PowerPC stuff, I believe. What else? Um, mail, that has a new look. In Mail, you can pretty much now have the full screen view, which is pretty cool. You have to do, you can group by messages now and threads. Well, here's another cool thing. If you guys are searching through mail, like through a particular subject, let's say like for example, car yesterday, fail, you know, by fail. So it'll do a smart search, smart tokens, it'll say, so you can say what the subject is, or like whatever, help you know, like what the subject is, what day it is, who, who sent it to you, whatever. Something like that, which is interesting. Photo booth is new, gets new effects with facial recognition. Pretty cool. With, like, it'll, Basically, track your head around like new effects. Yeah. Pretty nice. What else? Now we're talking about mission control. Launch pad. Eh. Eh, I don't know. It's okay, but people are still gonna use the finder, but launch pad is just another way of, of basically grouping your apps into one, like folders, like on iOS. So, anyways, <clears throat> let's take a look what we're gonna need for Lion. Anyways, my version is Mac OS 10, 10.6.7. My processor is 3.06 gigahertz. 8 gigs of RAM. I'm good there. Let's, let's take a look at software. Oh, don't need that. Application, that's what you want to see. Anyways, here's what you guys want to look for. Right here. It's kind. It can be either universal. It has to be universal Intel. So most of my apps. Let 
both of my apps. Both of my apps actually are all pretty much Intel Universal, if you guys can see that. No PowerPC apps, so I'm all good there. What? So that's pretty much it. Another thing in mind, super. Really, really hope that they really make a new intro piece. So Leopard intro, Leopard intro, same thing. Because, you know, line the developer beta right now and I'm just hoping that they'll make a new intro. But they probably will. Which I'll be happy about. They do. Uh, another feature I forgot to mention is Find My Mac. So if you get like a MacBook or something that thing and it gets stolen, it can um, find your Mac and locate it. Oh, another cool feature. So I'm you guys this. The login pane, this is a super cool feature. We start in Safari mode. So like if you guys are like having like problems or something or like you know, want to restart on your computer, it's actually in it's actually recovery mode too. But you can actually start in Safari mode only only on Safari to browse the web, look at Apple's website for support, etc. It's pretty helpful, pretty cool. So recovery the recovery hard drive partition can do that as well. Recovery partition so if you while your computer's repairing, you can go surf the web, you know, check your email. That's pretty cool. They've actually put that in Mac OS X. Security's improved. At least, good, good. Hope there's no more malware that we coming out. Can't all, can't all help that, because malware, you know, coming, comes to the Mac a little bit, because, you know, we were all Mac Defender, because we were all freaking out, because, you know, saying, oh, that is a real file, you all of this. Guys, it was just basically a thing that takes your credit card information, you know, it takes credit card information, all that stuff. Please, guys, stay up to date. Don't risk your computer saying, don't, please, update to everything, keep everything up to date. Because if you guys don't, because if you guys don't aren't up to date, you guys get that virus, get that malware thing, all I can say is this, say goodbye to your money, because that, because that, that Mac finish scam, take all your money or something, because it ain't going to be pretty if you guys see that. Lockman Mac OS 6.7 includes the Mac Defender update, which gets rid of it. Which I'm glad about that, thank god. There's another feature I want to talk about. What was it? Oh, resume. Wait, I don't know if I talked about that already, but anyways, if you restart Mac and your Mac OS 10 line, Mac OS 10 line, you can basically Restart, you can basically resume where you left off. So, no more saying, Oh, why do I have to sell it? Sell it last launch. All this launch stuff. Right that, you know? No more. Mac OS online, resume exactly where you left it, right from restart. Where you can start clean. Really interesting to see how that feature work. Another, another thing I'm wondering about boot times. I know you guys don't care about that, but it might be a bit faster than Slumber because, you know, 4 gig exhibits. And Slumber was like, what, 5, 6 gigs, I believe? Leopard, I mean, Lion shouldn't be take that long to install. I thought it was the next big, next big cat. I'm wondering what 10.8 will be. I'm hoping 10.8 would be, would be 10, 10 point, Mac was 10.8, that would be, that would be what? Oh, there's one thing for it. Cheetah's already taken. Panda was already taken. Oh, there's another one. What was it? What was it? I can't remember. But anyway, guys. Mine is going to set the future for us. Mac OS 10 and iOS into one. Think about it, guys. Because Apple may be doing with the iPhone. All I know for sure is they're, they're taking away optical discs. Think about optical discs because optical discs are going to be gone. It's all down with now, down with App Store stuff now, from right from the Mac App Store. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, push notifications in line. And that might be kind of interesting. Might be kind of helpful. But anyway, guys, that was my thoughts on mine. See y'all later.